There's a spider. Spider? In my underwear. Oh, he won't eat much. He's not big, but he's he's probably deadly. Deadly? Like he was crawling in this section. Where has he gone? Well, you threw the suitcase out like it was a... <laughs> like a grenade from Russia. Oh my god. Is there a spider in there? No, I haven't seen things. He was in there, so he's in something. Oh god. No, that wasn't that wasn't him. Was it? It's just the one. <laughs> Notice how I fold all your clothes up. Thanks, darling. Just a bit, a bit quicker. Before he gets into the other side. Oh, there he is. Coco, out, move. There he is. Oh, he's a beauty. Watch it, Coco. Right, well, no, no, that's my new book. He's not going to step on him. No, I'm putting him in the bush. The white tail. Awesome. Where'd he go? The white tail. Hold on. He's deadly. Well, well you don't need him near the caravan. He's not going to eat much. No, we don't know where he is now. <laughs> She's only got probably six acres to play in. <laughs> Seriously, this is what she does. This is parenting. Yeah, no worries. You wrap yourself around there. You got all that. And we're over here. And just whinge and cry. And... Whine and whinge and carry on. And then she's got this dog park. Have a look at this. Back there is a good idea. Gives the dog somewhere to run around in the park. Love it. Come on, girl. Here you go. Good girl. Come on. Yes. Good girl. I broke the, the buckle on the navigator bag. I had to tie it up. She nearly come off. We need a better system than that. But one ripping thing here, we've got these old chook bags that Dad buys all the chook feed and keeps the empty bags. We we'll use it as a liner. Bloody awesome. Ripping idea, King Billy. First dead soldier. These birds, they're doing about a dollar twenty and they nearly take your head off. It's like they've been on something. Something's going on here because there's stuff out of the pantry everywhere. I'm a bit scared to ask, sweetheart. What's uh, what the hell has gone on here? Oil spillage. 
We've had, we have a few few spillages in this van. First, there's oil all over there. The other one was this thing spilled out of the cupboard. And what we're going to do is a, a six month review on this caravan. It's due for its first or second service. First service. First actual service. So we're going to go through and do a six month uh, review on it and tell you the pros and cons about the the van itself the one thing i noticed I'll, I'll give you a bit of a sneak peek today this door here always springs open all that doesn't matter if even if you're on um bitumen flat road it, it it opens up it's so annoying initially i was thinking it was a door handle the little the little latch that but then i worked out today these screws are not put in correctly and oh, they're, they're not level they're too proud they're actually not square they haven't gone in square so they're sticking out on an angle all the way down the piano hinge so that my friend is the reason why it keeps popping open so why does that not surprise me because i've been standing here looking at this and anyone with ocd would get anxiety thanks for that i never noticed that is now, that not level now, like now it's going to do my head in <laughs> what have we got for dinner tonight oh, God, i hope there's no oil in that oh God. It's a bit dirty, don't <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna cook some steak on the um, on the barbecue. Got oyster blade tonight. Oyster blade, it's not a great cut, but it's from the farm. Okay, or well, I'm just gonna heat the barbie up yeah. before I do. Thank you, I don't mind if I do. sun smart all right so today we're going for a bit of a stroll into town Yarrawonga style right down the Murray be interesting to see how um, how flooded it is still so we're in the end of January and apparently the river is still pretty high so that should be interesting not sure how long the walk is no doubt Laura style it'll probably be about 8k and we'll be you know dying of thirst and no. actually wait be we've got our big the big bangers. One litre bottles. <clears throat> so it should be fun. Looking forward to it. It's been a while since we've been. No, look at the nice... shoes. I've got some new wheels. Got those for Christmas. Mm. You know oh. what that's for? That's actually to get me out running again. <laughs> that's what that is. Yes. We're going. <clears throat> this should be a good day. We might stop in somewhere for breakfast. Yeah. Let's kick it, Rupert. Oh, you haven't got your wallet, see? This thing always gets left behind. Just always uh, have to remind you. It's the oldest trick in the book, that one. Just, oh, I did. Sorry, I forgot my wallet. I'll <laughs> <laughs> oh, have a look at this. Yeah, no, you're right. It's trying to trip me over. Sit down. Good girl. Yes. What a good way to start your Saturday. Oh. This is why you work so hard during the week. Yeah. So you can kick back and live the dream. She's 
free. Exactly. He's looking for a spot, Darwin. Looking for a there spot we go. for a dump. There you go, Darwin. <laughs> You're first up off the ranks. 3.6 k's. 3.6 k's. Oh, that yeah, it's actually the river doesn't look that high. Which takes us right along the Murray to Yarrawonga itself, and I actually don't think we're going to get very far because the river is so far inland. Look at this. Oh yeah. Wow. And that's why you can't camp on the Murray at the free camps. That would be mosquito heaven. Yeah. But I must say, that's why you still need to come to these towns and support the community and stay in the caravan parks. Because no one's up here. Yeah, you it's, can't camp on the Murray. It is extremely quiet. Like, it's very peaceful because there's not many people, but it's really quiet. So they'd, they'd be doing it hard. Unbelievable. Hopefully we can get across. Either way, it's so interesting <clears> to see. So usually you could camp along here. Camps. They're very good free camps. Look at that. That would be contaminated. Yeah. Wonga. Never seen it so quiet. Oh, it's got a bit on it too. Jesus. Oh, the bridge is there. The Murray must have come up here, babe. Yeah. Oh, yuck. All these fish. Maybe all I these fish have, have uh, died due to the floods. It stinks too. Oh. There's like spider webs. It's actually quite eerie. <laughs> Some bits and just not used to seeing all this water. There's spider webs everywhere. The fish, all rotten fish. It's all right, darling. I'll break the webs for you. You've already had your spider encounter yesterday. I know. <laughs> that white tail was huge. Someone say KFC. Okay. okay. The Maori Murray. She's flowing. Tell you what, they're not short of a cockatoo. Jeez, it's unbelievable. Parks and reserves along the Murray River are closed, including Yarrawonga Regional Park due to flooding impacts. The ground is soft and large trees can fall. Yeah, so I mean you possibly could camp here but there is a lot of trees that will come down over the next month or so. Turnstile is a bit close to the cliff. Go, go. Come on. Good girl. Something smells there. Wow, that stinks. 
another one here, Dave. That's a bigger one. So the water's come right up here. Yeah. That's amazing. Like that is, that's a good 15 foot drop. That's how high the water come up. Coco, Coco, come on. She just wants to go in for a swim. Daddy. Yeah, well, you don't have your life jacket on. A few skippies living the dream. Look, you can see them. There's a lot of them. There they go. Let her off the lead for one second and bang. Yep, just slop down there. Oh yeah, drink that beautiful water. Put your apple air tail Oh in my water. god. That is feral. Yes, you, Dad. You're feral. <laughs> Don't shake on me. I know you want to. Don't shake. Don't shake. She loves it. Oh, she stinks too. That mud just smells to high heaven. Here she goes. Shake on mum. Shake on mum. So, so far, we've walked three k's. We've got about half a k to go back to the caravan. It's well, good, not, it? not three k's. The turnaround is nearly four, uh, eight k's. Oh, three k's back from the cafe. Yeah, so it's better. It's three point nine each way, isn't it? Yeah. So right. just under eight k's. Don't sell yourself short, sweetheart. Kicking goals. If you don't think of it like that, then. Oh, I count every step. <laughs> Here's one Coco prepared earlier. joys of having a pup. Yes right. girl. We should put that? a little clip on her what, so neck she can, and she can carry she it. Can carry it. <laughs> like that. 4Ks Val, 4Ks. Well, there you go, 8K return. Home sweet home. Oh. Whew. Haven't done that for a while. <laughs> So good this. I thought it was going to be freezing because no one's here. I was going to say when are you going to come in?
right, we've got a big cook up tonight. Big cook up. What have we got on the go, darling? We've got some beef schnitzels. Some snitties. Which we're going to uh, crumb in panko breadcrumbs. And I'm going to make a. Mine's going to be plain Jane, and he's just going to be Mexican. I tell you what, it's going to be the. away the schnitzels how good is that that looks smitto sweetheart very good the induction does a really good job all right now the secret ingredient for ingredients for the the mexicana schnitzels that i'm going to make is right here in front of me all right so i'm going to go with some pizza sauce you can use pizza sauce or you can use just your salsa that you use for your Doritos and stuff like that, each to their own. Let's put a little bit on there. Okay. Cover the schnitzel, like so. Try to get it all to the edges, that's the key. All right. Next ingredient. Hot Hungarian salami. Yeah, boy. Absolute beauty. We just put one of those on there. Okay. We'll grab a few jalapenos. And we'll place them around the snitty. Let's not go overboard. Because you know what happens. It's a long drive home tomorrow. Sun-dried tomatoes. Similar thing, just put a few over. Don't have to go overboard. Just run here and there, give it a bit of flavour. There you go. Okay. Green olives with chilli and garlic. You reckon this is going to be hot, Mexicana? <laughs> right, I haven't prepared this earlier, but I need to cut these because we don't want to put whole whole olives in there. Place those around the schnitzel, straight on top. Oh, this is going to be. Oh, come on, I'm salivating. Seriously, this is unbelievable. And then what we do is we top it off with some tasty cheese. Give you a close look at that. There is that is packed with flavour. Okay, so we'll put a little bit of cheese over the top. Cheese is the good, all the goodness. And then we're going to put that straight on the barbie. You could only smell this. Whew, that is that is going to be amazing. When you've had a hard day out on the tracks, it's critical to get a good meal into you. That, my friend, is the Mexicana beef schnitzel. 
done and dusted. I noticed there's a bit of garlic salt here, sweetheart. I might um, I might give that a bit of a sprinkle. There you go. Laura made this beautiful salad. We had a bit. We had some of this last night. Actually, it was really nice. Some walnuts in it. And there you have it. Troy and Laura's Mexicana beef schnitzel with a salad and a plain Jane schnitzel with a bit of garlic <laughs> butter. Garlic aioli. Garlic aioli. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it packs a punch, but if you like your hot food, get onto it. We'll leave the recipe in the description. Mm. Just been hard at it doing the dishes as I do. Just smashed it all out. The bench is a bit of a wipe down. That's why I love this induction because it's just easy to wipe down. Still got to dry them. <laughs> My sweetheart's having a bit of a bit of a alone time, a bit of resting. Can't just say. taking it easy. You're in full relaxed mode at the moment, aren't you? I am. I can really get used to this traveling lifestyle. The um the eating at the pub and having a drink at the pub and going out for breakfast will get very uh, expensive but <laughs> it's so oh, it's so good <laughs> especially when you work full-time as everyone knows that, that works full-time or even works part-time for that matter like a nine to five day is pretty can be pretty full-on so when you hear comments like oh it's you know there's a lot of work in youtubing and all that sort of stuff there is but you'd rather be doing that than working nine to five anyway the reason why i've jumped on the camera is because if you're not familiar with it like i said i just finished the dishes um just want to tell people that i do do dishes <laughs> no, no just jokes i went to do the dishes and i'm looking for the the tea towel and basically i was just sitting on top of the coffee machine as such and then I remembered that I had some fusion hooks left over. And I thought, oh, I'll show you guys if you haven't seen them before. Most people are probably familiar with them. You can just get them from Bunnings. They're not that cheap, but, but they, they're worth it. They work really well. So um, this is basically what it is. So you get your little pump there. And I'll give you a bit of a rundown on how they go together. This part here. Got a little backing on the back there. You could just peel that off, like so. And then this top part lifts up like this. Make sure you've got it around the right way. So, right there. And I'm going to install the T tail hook just directly in the cupboard. So it's out of the way. Keep going. Well, I reckon Keep we'll going. go about. No, darling, it's, there's a lip here, sweetheart. <laughs> and we definitely won't close okay if it's not correct you can take it off that's true that, so I'll show you how to do that as well all right so we'll get rid of the instructions because you don't need those and all you do is give it about six or seven pumps check out the guns <laughs> and then that my friend is not coming off Put your hook back on. Done. Look at that. And then Bob's your uncle. And like we say, if he's not your uncle, he, he could be your auntie. <laughs> All right. So put him on there like that. And <laughs> voila. Okay, Troy's just put the drone up. Coco's run into her bed. But check out this sky. It is amazing.
Watch that tree. Stop, stop, stop. Yep. What'd you say, Dalton? No, I can see it. Oh. I think that's, um, I can't wait for MSA to come out with these 300 series towing mirrors. So then you can look straight up and you can see what, you, yeah. what you're clearing. Where, from where I was, I just... I saw a big tree. Yeah, big tree branch. And I was like, are you going to clear that? So I had to come yeah. this side. And it was all good. And I told them it was a great caravan park and a really great stay. And we enjoyed ourselves. Yeah, it was really not busy. Really nice. So, Apart from the price, it's a bit, a bit steep. Yeah, forty-eight dollars a night for two people on an unpowered site with no water. Yeah. Oh, even though it's peak, there's no one here. So we're just going to head down this road, are we? Yeah. And just park the caravan on the side, and then take Coco to the river and get some drone footage, and then we're going to go to the craft market, see what I can buy. That sounds riveting. Farmers and craft market. <laughs> She's waiting. You're waiting, girl. Ready? Just like kids, we need to get all the energy out of her before we hit the road. So that's what we're doing. Come on, girl. Let's go. Sorry. Yeah. Well, that was a good drive. I've just been listening to a crime podcast the whole way down. A uh, murder of a female in Queensland. Yeah. I think we mentioned we're trying to find some podcasts. Not good. Too many people go missing in this country. Yeah. She just kind of fits, doesn't she? It's a long van. They're perfect. Perfect parking by me. Very good, Dal.
What's in here, darling? This, this is a jail. This is what they used to use in 1853. And they'd lock people up on the Goulburn River. And that's where the um, it's actually been transported here to Seymour, across the road from the actual police station. Mm. And I think they used it. It says on that board. 1962, was it? Yeah, 1962. As a lock-up. It's up. unbelievable. Have a look at it. Can it's you well see built. inside? No, not unless you climb up. Great. You gotta think oh. smarter, not harder. <laughs> Put it on the telescopic. Put it right in. I don't want to drop it. Imagine getting stuck in there. No. Oh. Come on, let's go and eat. <laughs> 